YouTube, Carify King here. I got a very special deck profile for you today. This is going to be on my Aqua Force deck. This is my heart and soul. I've been playing this deck since I started Vanguard back in late May, early June. It, I played this deck up until the mid December. Every single build you think of, you know, when Maelstrom came out and everything like that, mostly Maelstrom when BTO 8 was out. It was the top. It was one of the top decks. It was uh, Basil was able to hit the 10k vanguards that are that were pretty prevalent. Then Maelstrom, if he hit, he you know you you go plus two by counterblasting one, retiring one, drawing one. Um, it was just a really really good deck. And then it took a dip during the cross right format. And then set 11 when more 11k vanguards became more relevant. Basil's utility has reduced a ton, and it was just pretty uh it got a little bit eh, i'm not gonna say uncompetitive but it was not as relevant as it was before even with transcore and everything like that the deck was still suffering from a lack of hand from a lack of more power plays and it was just it was just lacking and it fell off but now with bt13 coming out we got a bunch of new units we're able to compete against revengers link jokers even though they're the epitome of defense we can still break through the lock we, you know, we're going to be one of, we're one of the top decks considered right now. And I got a deck profile for you. It's finally complete. Let me get into it. Got Officer Cadet Eric right here. Grade 3 searcher. Pushing the soul. Look at the top 5 for a grade 3. Want to search for Transcore, hopefully, first. But Tetra Drive is grit good as well. Then you have four heals. Obviously, four heals. We got six crits. This is Supersonic Sailor. Pushing the soul, unflavored damage. We use a lot of counter blasts in this deck, so it's gonna um, come in handy really late in game. Then we have six draw. Six draw, Alevi. I've been waiting for this forever because the deck just does not have enough draw power. Since we're calling a lot of units out into the hand to correct our formations, we lose hand advantage pretty fast. And with six draw triggers, now I'm able to be able to better build up hand advantage so that I'm able to call out units and discard for tetra drive and just you know do a lot better do you know hit your units faster it's it speeds up the deck to where it needs to be and we have we finally got a margo clone right here pushing the soul give plus three to an aqua force unit on the field that's really key in the deck she's probably one of the best cards in the deck which is why i run four of her she allows basil to hit she allows title assault to hit on their first swings and that can really pressure your opponent late in game and I'm gonna get into that later but let's go on to the grade one alright guys for the grade one lineup we got four perfect shields as usual two from the original set and two from the newer set I mean yeah it's whatever then we got four AK vanillas now the reason why I'm running the AK vanillas over the twin strike brave shooters cause I know sometimes the seven and the eight don't matter but here's my thing I'm a defensive player, and to me, yeah, um, this 8K does matter a lot of times, especially when you're going up against decks that just mainly have 7K. Let's say you go up against Beast Deities. They're going to call right horn to the rear guard, um, away, not behind the vanguard, and they're going to swing at you for 7K. Okay, you throw down, you can throw down a 5K shield, and that's 13, and they're gonna hit, if they hit a trigger, it's still not going to break because they're going to only be able to hit for 12 unless they call a booster behind them. So... It's for defensive purposes. Plus, he fixes, he makes columns. Like, when he's behind your 10k vanilla, it's an 18k column. That's going to hit cross rise for a 10k shield. Um, that's going to hit, eight, you know, 8k's like Basil, things like that, for a 15k shield. You know, um, when behind trans, behind, you know, if you have a grade 3 in the column or an 11k attacker, it makes a hit for 19 so that, you know, you can force a 15k shield on like 12k attackers and things like that. So, not only does he make rows a lot better, he also has a defensive capability, you know, on the grade 1 circle. Now, we have two light signal swing with soldiers. We got him in BTO 9. He was literally our only form of draw power outside of our draw trigger. Um, what you do, he's a luck bear clone, call to the rear guard, soul blast to draw. Really good card, especially early game after you use Eric's skill, call him behind Vanguard, soul blast to draw. Again, building up your hands so you can f make your columns and keep up guarding at the same time. And then we got a new card, Wheel Assault. Wheel Assault is one of my favorite boosters, which is why I run four of him. His effect is, you know, at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, you counterblast one, and you can swap two Aqua Force units on the field. So pretty much, you can take these two and switch them, um, you know, across the field 
which is really good because he can fix columns where it's like two grade threes and he can make two grade threes switch with each other. So he's also a switch enabler and helps you get Tetra Drive's limit break ability off, even though it's a counter blast of one, which is why we have cards like the crit trigger to, you know, help alleviate that. This is one of the decks where you're going to use your triggers to help with your main strategy rather than just, just to block with. Alright, on to the grade 2. Alright guys, for my grade 2 lineup, we're going to start off with Titan of the Beam Rifle. He's like my little tech card, I guess, here and there. Didn't really have too much of a spot for anything else right here. So I just decided to put him in. He's a decent, he's 11k attacker. If you, uh, if you have a grade, uh, um, excuse me, a limit break for you on the, on your Vanguard circle. Um, when I see him, he comes in handy. If I don't see him, eh, not too worried about it. Then I have Stormrider Basil. I've had Basil since, you know, Basil came out in BTO8. What he does is, when he attacks, he's 8k, when he attacks the van, when you, uh, if it's the first battle of the turn and he attacks the vanguard, he gets an extra 2k, and then after that battle, he swaps with the card behind him. He's one of the, he's the, he's the original, um, column, column exchanger. But he's, his usefulness became lessened due to 11k vanguards and cross rides and of course this deck does struggle against cross rides due to i guess uh, some poke because this is more of a poke attack deck so to speak but again with the draw trigger in this deck basil is able to hit cross rides so he's able to hit for that poke damage that aqua force is so well known for and so that's why i'm only running two basil because we have uh, Title Assault, but 10k Vanillas, 10k Vanillas, best turn to ride, uh, great in front of the 8k Vanilla. Uh, I took this, you know, from Zagzag, he was, you know, because we were bouncing ideas off each other, he was like, you know, run for, you know, the four 10k Vanillas, you know, is great for defense, especially since um, Chaos Breaker is a thing, and people are still, people like me, running Mobius Breath at either three or four copies, he is great. You just throw down. You just throw down a 10k trigger, a 10k uh, trigger, for pretty much a no pass because most likely they're going to have Dust Tail Unicorn behind their Mobius Breath. So he is really key. He is really key in the deck, and he makes um, some really, really, really neat columns. And then we have my Grade Two. Pretty. He's kind of like my Avatar. You know, both of these are a little bit, but you know, I love Title So he's my favorite Grade Two. Really, uh, what his uh, he's a great two Benedict. What he does is when he at when he attacks, if he attacked a Vanguard, you can stand him up again for and minus five k off his power, so he'll be a four k. But really, he's just there to swipe, restand, and then boost and swipe. Or you know, if the struggle's real, if you have him in a Basil column, swipe, restand, swipe. You know, so he's two attacks in himself, and um. He combos with the deck so well with any Aqua Force deck. You put you push in you uh use Malika, push her in, he'll swing for twelve, restand, and then swing for seven, you know, hopefully with a boost behind him. Um he he's such a key to the deck and uh I'm really glad that you know they made a card like him. Alright, let's get on to the grade three lineup. Alright guys. Finally, finally here, finally here. All right, grade three lineup. We got four trans uh, blue fly dragon, transcore dragon. What he does is when you break right on top of him, your vanguard gets ten thousand power and the auto effect. It that is when your opponent, when your uh, vanguard declares an attack on when your vanguard attacks, your opponent can either discard one card, and if they choose not to, then your vanguard gets an extra critical, and they cannot guard until the end of that battle. So. Pretty much, you're dropping you're dropping your opponent's card out of their hand before they're gonna drop their perfect shield or their 10k or their like, you know, most well, not not even a 10k or probably a 10k one to pass if you're just swinging for 21, you know, and they have a cross ride. But you're pretty much dropping three, you know, three plus cards out of their hand just from one attack. And if they choose not to, they're getting smacked with an extra critical. Usually, the extra critical means death. So, obviously, you're going to get rid of about, I want to say about, on average, three cards out of their hand. And then, Tetra Drive. 
Tetra Drive Dragon is my avatar. He is my probably my favorite Aqua Force unit. He has a tie and a crown and a business suit. Come on, really? And he has cannons like Blastoise, my favorite Pokemon. All right, let me get into his effect. His effect is, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard. If it was a, if it was a second battle, he gets this auto effect, where at the end of at, at the end of the battle that your rear guard attacked an opponent's Vanguard, not a rear guard, attacked an opponent's Vanguard. And if that was the fourth battle, you can counter blast two, pitch two cards from your hand, and restand it. And I will show you the combination of how you do his effect, you know, at the end of the video. So, pretty much, when you break right on top of uh, him, and his other effect is Counter Blast 1, gets 2,000. But when you break right on top of Transcore, what it means is, you're going to swing. Your opponent's going to have to pitch one card, and then block his, t pretty much block his twin drive. So let's say he perfect guards. That's three cards out of his hand already. Then, after your other attacks... You, you use his limit break ability, restand, swing again. Now, that means that they're going to have to drop another card or take another or, or, or take an extra crit. And if they drop a card, they're going to drop one card and then drop down, let's say, another perfect shield. So you just dropped, just off of him alone, you've just dropped six cards out of their hand. And if they don't have perfect guards, well, m even more cards. Um, I was playing my brother today, and I made, he was, he was, he had, Ten cards in hand. I dro I dropped eight. Um. So yeah. Now let me get into how his effect sort of works. All right, guys. So this is just a little. This is just one example. This is just an example of you know how te the turn for Tetra Drive generally can work. Now let's just say hypothetically you have her on the field. You don't even have to have it here, but I'm just gonna have her here just to show you what she does for the deck. What you do is okay. Let's see. I'll push her into Soul. Give plus three to Basil. Basil now swings for thirteen k. Then we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and call. And call the booster behind. Or no. Ooh, shit! I just messed up badly. Pretty much, you break right first. Durr. Push her into Soul. Give Basil plus three k. Call her here. Call him here. Then. Swing with Basil. Alright. Had to block that attack. One card. Then, swing here 21. Uh, twin drive. Okay. Next attack. Swing. There we go. Now, fourth attack. Swing at the Vanguard. Restand. If you have him in the field. Alright. Here you go. Restand. Counter blast 2. Pitch 2. And now, you're swinging again with the boost. And then any trigger effects, you can either put in the Vanguard, put on here, and get another attack. That was an extremely lazy way of showing it, but that is pretty much the gist of it. This, the fourth attack has to, has to be on to your opponent's Vanguard. It doesn't have to hit, but it just has to be at your opponent's Vanguard in order for him to be able to resend. And he has to be the second attack. So, um... I hope you like. I hope you like that deck profile. Uh, I'm gonna come at you with some more combo videos, probably with this deck, and hopefully I can get my Link Joker deck profile up soon. I'm waiting to get paid so I can get my Chaos Breakers and you know blah 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 things like that. But yeah, definitely like, comment, subscribe. This is the king. This is the other king of the Aqua Force Tetra Drive, A.K.A. Dragon Blast Toys, and we out. Peace.